we've got a great guest tonight, um, great photographer, great writer, uh, great community guy, uh, uh, guy that, uh, that, that keeps, keeps us thinking, keeps us in the forefront of, of what's going on artfully around, around the community. Great Peter Bates is, is in the studio. He's going to spend a lot of time with me tonight. We're going, to, we're going to talk about, there's a great project that he's got coming up right now. He, 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 there's going to be a great show at, at one of the cancer wards here in Boston. You know, art is such a healing thing. It's just such, a, such an amazing opportunity that, the, 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 that art can, can help people through troubled times. And, 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 and Peter is, 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 has this great project that he's been working on that's going to be, going to be uh, helping people through their their dilemmas, and um, I'm very proud to have him here. Peter's an old friend. He's he he does some he he, does, he reviews CDs. He's got some great blogs. He, his name pops pops up everywhere. So, so it's going to be a great opportunity to meet with the great Peter Bates. TV. And without further ado, enough of that. It is my great pleasure to bring back to the to the BNN set, and it's all about arts program. My good friend Peter Bates. Hello, Peter. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. How are you? Oh, very good. Very good. Very busy. Yeah, that's great. I'm glad yeah. to hear that. Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. Um, you are a, a photographer. You're a blogger. You're a writer. You're a, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, what, what, let's talk a little bit about what kind of brought that kind of career around for you. Is it something you've been doing for? Forever? Is it something that just well, kind of peaked you? As far as the blending of the writing and the photography, yeah. um, that came fairly recently with this new project I'm doing with the uh, bodegas of, yeah. of New England, whereby I not only photograph the bodegas, but I photograph, I interview the owners and write a little essay, you know, yeah. about what I learned about their business. But, but you've been, you've been, a, you've been a photographer and you've been a writer. Um, they is, just never, they've never met. <laughs> is that what is that photojournalism? Yeah, is yeah. I mean, that'd be of more a, more of a photojournalism type uh, of approach or documentary photography. Okay, yeah. That's how, more accurate. Actually. How's that been? How's that been feeling? How's it's that? Been feeling great. It's you know, feeling if, good. I, if I can do it. Well, I yeah. think I think you've pulled it off, Peter. Yeah. Uh, let's yeah. be real about it. You've also you're all, you, your photography's also been seen at uh, at open studios. Yeah. Um, yeah. Have you done any others besides Rosendale? Um, yeah, oh, sure. The bodegas are going all over New England. I mean, no, no, I mean the open yeah. studios. Oh, the, the have, open you, have you done any other open studios besides... Oh, no, besides no, just the so you just, 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 just open art. studios. But we, the stuff has been exhibited in other places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how long have you been a photographer? Let's, oh. start with, let's start with the photography. I'd say uh, maybe 32 years. 32 years? Yeah. Do you remember your first camera? Uh, oh, yeah, it was a brownie. Was it a brownie? <laughs> the big flash yep. on the top? Yep, yep. I that. asked for a camera for my birthday, my father, because he had a nice Nikon. You know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, and he gave me the brownie, and I was looking down and stuff. I said, oh, I like the one where you hold the camera up to your face. <laughs> he said, Oh, you're not old enough for that yet. I think my first one was an old Rolly Flex. <laughs> yeah. With the two yep. lenses yep. on yep. them. Yep. Twin lens reflex. Twin lens. That was my second camera. Now, um, let's talk about this bodega. What? You've been on this pro project for a two little years. while now, right? Almost three years this fall. What brought it on? What? I was out, um, you might know that uh, Bob Ward is a uh, photographer Good in friend of mine Rosendale, well. yep. and he had taken a picture that I really liked um, at uh, the corner of Beach in Washington of that... Uh, the Pleasant Cafe, the Pleasant Cafe. That's, a, that's a famous photograph. And I said, that. wow, that's a great photograph, because the guy bought it and it's hanging up there. Yep. And I said, I, I'm going to do that. So I took it with this new process that I was telling you about the uh, high dynamic range, and I was able to take it at um, twilight, so I got some nice, uh, it was kind of a blend of the last light of the day yeah. and also the lights from the neon. Right. And, and I said, I'm going to go a few other places. So I went to Christo's Market in over on Walter Street, and I, I photographed that, and that came out really good. And uh, I showed it to some people, because I used a wide angle lens, and I yeah. used the high dynamic range, and you could see right inside the store. Yeah. At the same time, you could see the outside. Very good definition. There, there yeah. was no, you, you'll see it it's on some of those yeah. Um, yeah. pictures. And there was, um, so I showed it around to a few artists, and they said, this is great, you gotta do more of these. So I started to do more of them, and then I said, well, I'm gonna, somebody came out and asked me what I was doing, and I explained it to him, it was the owner of the store. And I thought, oh, am I gonna get in trouble? And is he paranoid? What? He wanted to know all about what I was doing and why I was doing it. So I said, how, how about I come over and talk to you and your wife and um, make your interview part of the project? 
And that's where it started. Yeah, and so we did. And I, I photographed him and his wife in the store. And then I said, I'm going to go around, and whenever I do a shot, I'm going to give them a free picture yeah. of this store, and then just uh, ask for a five-minute interview. That's great. And uh, a good percentage of them will go along with that. Just throw the, throw the switch on the camera? Throw and the switch on. And <laughs> throw the mic let up? Them talk. <laughs> let them talk. Wow. This and age I, we live in. And I find 99, I think I've, every, so far 100% of them are, um, are recent immigrants to the country. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's an immigrant experience. I call it the immigrant experience. Mm -hmm. The people who own and run these bodegas, these inner city um, pop, mom and pop shops, yep. um, are all from either Bangladesh, India, Guatemala, um, Africa. Great. Um, what a melting well, pot we live in, it's isn't it? It's amazing. It's, it's amazing. It's ama and, the, the, and the funny thing is the, uh, there'll be an Indian person running a store in a, uh, in a Greek neighborhood selling only Greek food, <laughs> not Indian food. Fabulous. What's you, the first set of photographs we're going to see? Um, well, the first set is the shots themselves okay. of the, uh, there's like six um, shots of the high dynamic range. Okay. Shot. And some of them own more than one. I interviewed. Yes, that yeah. it's a family kind of the guy up at the home market. I know that he has a couple of different places yeah. around. Are we having technical difficulties in there with uh, bringing up these shots. One second, okay, all right, all right. they're working on it. They'll, they'll uh, never, never. Yeah, uh, but this is going to be showing. Where are you going to be showing this? So th this particular exhibit is opening today, or uh, the actual opening day is the nineteenth at uh, 20, 55 Fruit Street at Mass General Hospital at the um, waiting rooms of the cancer ward. That's fabulous. Yep. I was mentioning earlier that, that how, how art and, and, and music and art can be so therapeutic and, and I think, um, curing, you know, mm -hmm. healing yes. for people. It's, uh, and, and my shots, will, they're not just photographs, they're, they're also interviews. Mm -hmm. The interview is on like an eight and a half by 11 sheet with mm -hmm. a black and white, which you'll see soon. I think we've got, we've got them up now. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at these shots. Yeah, that's one of, that's the first one I took. This is my friends uh, from the whole, they're from uh, yep. Henry's. That's right. I know them that's very right. well. That's right, and they've since um, redone the store, made it look a little less rustic. It's, it's a great place. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, um, they interviewed, they really enjoyed the shots. And great. Across the street from them, their father. Owns Christos. Owns Christos. Yeah, Christos. Okay, yep. next one. And this was a fellow that owns Happy Superette, uh, not too far from here, in Dorchester. Yep. And um, I, I called him on his cell phone, and uh, he was very happy to talk to me about it. <clears throat> and I just photographed him in his store. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a, a shot from uh, Alston, um, and um, the name of, uh, uh, let's see, the bodega, I was trying to remember the name of that one. But, but we're going to see shots yeah, of, of yeah, the Yeah, you'll see yeah. the actual shot that, that accompanies yeah. this. Well, we're meeting, we're meeting the people first. And uh, the, the owner is actually a, a, a business school graduate of BU, and he decided to run a bodega. I'm glad that it's, a, it's an experience that's become, you know, uh, is it become educational as well for you? Oh, I've learned a lot about, yeah. the, about the business, about the amount of hours they have to work, um, whether or not they want their children to uh, be in the same business as they are, or... And what they had to do to get here, right, right, right. Um, how they got their stores.